Well, hey YouTube, welcome back guys. It's been a little while since we've uh, made a video, but I wanted to uh, show you what I have been working on off camera. You guys have seen this engine before, but uh, I guess I've been spending a couple nights out here, you know, a couple hours every couple nights, and uh, I got this and finished. I'll pull you guys out to where you can see, and I'll set it right here. We'll take a look at it together. Okay, you guys remember that hot bulb engine, right? This big green fella? Well, before it was just mounted on a wooden base. Well, you had to have your battery and all your electronics and stuff, you know, sitting out. Well, I didn't like that, so I made a, a mahogany box for it. And I don't know how many layers of varnish I've put on it, but we've got a very nice shiny surface. And, well, I put gas in it already and I dribbled some on here and it has not damaged our surface. We've mounted our switch here. If you guys remember on the other one, that was a great big coil of cooling line that came up to the bottom of our cylinder on discharge of our pump. That's all gone. It's bent up now and it fits. Looks a lot better. And we've got the tank mounted here and this is our cooling tank. This one here ran down the other side and looped around and dipped in the top. So now it's up and over. We made a little brass bracket and put on there and uh, cleaned this up back here. So, yeah, I thought uh, I'd show you guys, and I haven't started it. I put fuel in it and thought, well, yeah, I'll show you guys this before this one goes out of the way and we bring our next decent-sized engine project up here. So, we'll flip our switch on. I'll try to stay out of your way. I probably flooded it. pinch this back we'll close it all the way so it can't get fuel come on did I not flood it we do have a wet thumb, so I'm sure I've flooded the tar out of it. Well, I guess I'll put the drill start attachment on it. We'll wing it over. It should take off pretty easily. Makes the whole bed shake. Well, now that we've started it, we'll see if it fires up. Now that I don't flood it. Yes, we do still have it, and well, there you go. Yes, it still runs. I'll get this big hog out of the way, and we'll bring up another project. Okay, guys, uh, before I bring this next one up, I'll let you know that uh, this one did come off of eBay also, and when it arrived, it was broken, damaged. I talked to the seller. They are outstanding. They stood behind it 100%. And, uh, <clears throat> well, let's just say they made it right. I had to pay up quite a bit for this one. But we'll see. You guys will get to see what all needs to be done to it. So, there it is. Uh, 
the uh, rear wheels were broken off and in three pieces which that's not a big deal but the sad part about it is you guys will be able to see it watch our flywheel over here on this side does it show up that the cranks bent so it was shipped standing upright on end and of course the heavy end was at the bottom and uh, well obviously it got whacked back here and our crankshaft is bent but it does turn over we have compression and uh, well guys we are gonna get this to run uh, the first things first let's get this flywheel off I'll get you guys into a better view we'll get this propped up so it's nice and level and then we'll go from there there how's that you guys be able to see that okay I'll hold this intake valve in <clears throat> if you guys watch the center and our outside I don't know if you guys can it's terribly obvious to me and you know I seen it and I was just about sick and I talked to the seller and they were super super apologetic I mean it wasn't their fault um, it was how it was handled in transit so they did they stood behind it they apologized and they credited back the shipping costs so I couldn't ask for more than that because if we'd have filed a claim with uh, well the other brown truck that delivered this this engine would have went to them they would have paid for the seller price and it would have been gone and nobody would have got to enjoy it see it or hear it run again it would have just been probably disposed of so at least it's here in our shop and well, we got work to do let's get after it start by pulling this gib key out of here so but before we pulled this uh gib key off of here I had to hold this in, let you guys watch the run out on this flywheel. You guys are in a good view for it. There, were you able to see it? Probably with my hand not in your way. So that's why we're going to start, we're going to end up pulling this crank and uh, probably put it in the lathe, straighten it back out and uh, yeah, we got to start by getting this gib key out. So I'll get this flip back around, you guys will see it. Alright, well I don't have a gib key puller small enough for this one. If you guys have seen them or not, but they're kind of a, a hawk bill shaped and they start off small and you know they're you know, banana shaped and they get they're thin on this end they get wider as they go the idea is to get them behind the lip on this gib key work them in and tap them work them in and tap them and the wedge will pull this gib key out i don't know we're going to see how snug this one is in here we're going to start with just oh hell it ain't even tight so that's good or we're good nothing to worry about there uh, get a rag and i'll wipe this off I'm sure you guys understand how they operate or how they hold, but this is tapered, thin on this end, thicker down here, it corresponds with the taper that's in our flywheel, and uh, you drive it in, and it just it wedges itself in there, so that's how that works, and our flywheel is free on our crank, so we can get our flywheel off, hopefully the rest of this comes apart as easily as this did. Um, the paperwork that came with this engine it was built by a gentleman in 1988 and this is number six I don't know of how many but this one is number six uh, let's watch our end of our crank here you guys can see yeah we're we're way off so and it looks like the bend is back here on the side of our main bearing because if we watch our gear mesh here, looser, tighter, looser, tighter. So even this gear here is working back and forth. So well, let me get this other side off so we have a bare crank. And then we're going to start pulling our crankshaft out. 
see how bad it really is. All right, we have both of our flywheels off. We have our pulley off the end. This the gib key on the other side. It didn't fight too bad either. So, all right, let's start getting our rod cap bolts off. And yeah, they're coming apart fairly easy too. One of the neat things about this model is, so far, everything has been standard thread. So that makes it very easy for replacement hardware or fasteners, if need be. And uh, we don't have to worry about what thread this thing is. So looks like we have an aluminum connecting rod, no bearing. Yeah, nice compression. So let's start by getting... And yes, I'm not worried about the timing on this because, well, hell, we're going to have to go through it anyhow, right, guys? So, let's get this out. Yeah. I'll get these apart, and I'll show you guys what we got. Okay, we have both of our main caps off. Our connecting rod is loose. So, let's get our crank out of here. And there it is. So I believe our bend starts right here and gets worse as we go out. Um, I guess what I'll do is I'll put this in the lathe and we will see where our run out is. And well, this gear will come off. We'll grab this end of the lathe. We'll indicate off of here and we're gonna see where our bend starts. And well, I guess we're going to see if we can straighten it. And no, I don't necessarily want to do this, but I'd much rather straighten a bent crank than I would see this whole engine sit in a dumpster somewhere behind a uh, shipping facility that drives, you know, this same color round truck and uh, it just be gone, you know, forever. So yeah, we'll put some time into it. I guess I won't subject you guys into watching everything if I get into something that's exciting that I think you'll want to see I'll show it but you guys will get to see everything that goes into what we're gonna do on this um, and I will try not to drag it out terribly long but hopefully you guys do find this exciting and interesting and uh, yeah so I'll get to work on this and you guys will see it in the next one so hey thank you guys so much for watching um, you guys are fantastic you know I, we are so close to hitting a thousand subscribers I think we're at 895 as of the time that we're making this video and I couldn't do it without you guys so thank you very very much and uh, I'll keep moving on this and hopefully you guys get another video out in a day or two and we keep moving forward so thanks again we'll see you soon